Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Let's see, this is the Marguerite Miller um, weekly collage weekly planner, week 43. Uh, we are in the week of October 23rd and that is the beginning of the week. So that means, oh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, a week from today. Oh, no, Halloween is on the 31st, so it's a week from Monday. And then the month is going to be gone. So this is an interesting week, and I'm not quite sure. Um, I, think, I think the prompts are kind of odd. Something from a calendar, a border or a frame brown paper or a paper bag piece, a symbol of heraldry, her heraldry, a place, and then bonus is handwriting. I don't have to have the handwriting, but I did find a little something. If I can fit it in, I will. So, um, I start on this one, I started with the symbol of heraldry, herald heraldry, yeah, heraldry, and in my little fussy cut stash, I have the Lady of Justice here. You'll notice that she's not blindfolded. Um, and I wanted to use her, but I thought she was a little too big for my page because my place uh, is taken from my magazine that I always use. And I thought this was a really cool place um, it's a, it says, uh, William Hazen, a former Nimo, Nimo, Nimo Bay guy dives off the roof of the resort's floating restaurant, Little River. Um, I'm not quite sure where this is, um, but I thought it was just a great place because to me, it's, you're carefree. You're free. You have nothing else around you. You have you have no internet. Obviously, you can only get there by seaplane, come or go. It's remote. Um, you're just but look at they've got their cell phones in their hands filming. But it's a it is a place where you can just be carefree. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, if you're a city dweller, you don't have to worry about the traffic, uh, the noise, work, the violence. Um, when you're away in the mountains with the water, it's just, it's very healing, a very holistic place. Um, so I thought this would be really, a really good page to use, especially with my Lady of Justice. So See, I think she's just a little too big. She's just, I don't want her to, to overtake um, this diver who is free diving in this wonderful, serene, um, beautiful place. So I scanned her, I scanned her on my Photoshop and I did scale her down a little bit because she does have an important role in the story. So we're going to get the background done first. him up a little bit. We can move him up a little. So I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, it's Sunday here, Sunday morning, and it's going to be a lovely day. It's a little overcast. We have those, we have that gray sky effect, which Unfortunately, we get the gray sky effect a lot um, from here on out. Yesterday was, oh my gosh, it was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I had to do 
grocery shopping in the morning. And I could have done it Monday, but Mondays are kind of reserved for going over to my husband's office and cleaning out that basement with all old files in it from <laughs> the inception of, of the company. Um, so I wanted to go yesterday, and I'm having my neighbor Nancy up for dinner tonight, so I wanted to have a nice family dinner. Um, but yesterday, it was gorgeous. It was almost 70 degrees, and I sat outside um, and read my book, took a little siesta when we got home. You know, it was, it was just gorgeous. So today's a nice day. It's warm, but it's not sunny, sunny, sunny. Um, so I hope wherever you are, it's, you're, you're having a really nice, a nice day weather wise and you're getting out and maybe apple picking or doing something, something fun. Um, okay. So here's our back ground page. So I'm going to get that right on and maybe I'll use my glue stick for this. So yeah, I'm going to make um, some homemade chili today, homemade bread, and I'm going to make some, uh, well, it's going to, I shouldn't say homemade, it's all homemade. And I'm going to make some uh, corn chowder. I've got the best recipe um, for corn chowder. So I just thought whoever wanted to have what they could, they could decide what they wanted to have. Um, but I thought it was just a good, nice little, nice little meal. The other night we had um, venison. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Um, we had it with mashed potatoes and peas. So if you if you're a venison lover, um, if you've never tried your venison with, I took a I took a uh, a big skillet and I put my olive oil in and then I threw in uh, bits of bacon. I took probably six or seven pieces of bacon, chopped raw. I didn't cook it. Chopped that up, threw that in the skillet, let that um, fry up, simmer. Then I put. I chopped an onion, threw that in. Then I took my, I had two um, um, sirloins and I sliced them at an, a diagonal, really, really thin, paper thin. And then I threw all the venison in and then I stir fried that, cooked that up. Then I added some red wine, let it simmer in the red wine. Then when that got low, I added some water, let it simmer some more. Um, then I added another, you know, bit of red wine, let it simmer, and then the water again. Then when the potatoes were ready, um, and I knew it was time for the mashing, um, I took three cloves of garlic. I have a garlic press, and I pressed them, put them in, stir-fried it. Then I put um, Worcestershire sauce in. Oh, my gosh. And then that was that was on the side of the mashed potatoes, and we had... Um, I wanted carrots. My son doesn't like carrots, so I, I did a side of peas, but oh, oh my God, it was so good. It was so yummy. All right, so back to, this isn't a cooking show. This is a collage. This is a collage um, challenge. So, all right, so we have um, my background. We have the place and then my symbol. So I scaled her down on my Photoshop and we are going to put her right down here in the corner and he is diving towards one of the scales. So he is diving towards guilty or not guilty. And then uh, the next thing, something from a calendar. So we have something from a calendar, a border or a frame, which I have here. I have a little, I have a little frame here, a piece of paper or a bag piece. So I found this bag here. Um, this looks like it came from um, the Cracker Barrel. So I cut this out here. It says circus, Egyptian caravan, South American circus. 
So I thought that I would use this circus bit. Um, I just thought that was kind of cool because what this guy's been through, it was a real circus. Um, handwriting. So I found this old postcard um, to Mrs. Sherman Van Tassel. Um, she was my great aunt. And I thought this was cool because it says, got here at 3.30 Tuesday afternoon, Leo. So this guy's Leo. And he has arrived. Um, this is dated 1915. Um, he's arrived at this date. So I didn't know if I wanted to maybe frame this, which I thought might be kind of fun. I don't need this postcard. I have a whole collection. I don't really like this one. I can't like it. So I thought I would take this and cut this out. So let's do that. Let us do that. So we are going to I could get it. This is a little too, I have a larger frame because I'd like to put that in there, but maybe it's not necessary. I don't think that the year, because this isn't. Got here Tuesday afternoon, 3.30. All right. And we can cut that out. We don't need that 19, what did I say, 1918. We don't need that in there. Okay, so we've got that. So that's our little frame with our handwriting. Um, we just have to figure out where we might put that. I want to keep the water so it does show that he's he's diving in. Uh, so we have, let me just check here, and then we can work on the collage. So we do have a border or a frame, um, a symbol, a place, and we have the handwriting. So I just have to work now with the cap, piece of calendar and the brown paper bag. So I found that I was originally going to use this. I was going to use Saturday, July 4th. Um, and I was going to frame that because July 4th shows your, you know, it's Independence Day. But seeing that I wanted to use this Tuesday afternoon, I think I might use this or I might just use Seize the Day, um, which I think I might do. I don't think the date's that important. I think Seize the Day to the overall to the overall uh, message here is a little bit better. So we're gonna cut this and if I should tear, rip and tear, or if I just should go around. Oh, let's see here. Maybe I'll add it to a little, maybe I have something in here I can add it to. This one I have really no set design, which I guess is just kind of, it's okay. Mm, I don't have a lot of round, I don't have a lot of round things in there. Let's look in my little book of magic here. Let's see what I have. I have just a round. That's two. These are too big. That's too big. Oh, golly gosh. Let's see. Let us see. I don't want an oval. 
I don't want a Christmas round. Oh, this isn't really working out, is it? Um, I have a big round. I don't want a big round. Don't want a big, 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 big round. These are Christmas rounds. Don't want a Christmas round. Oh, I could just cut around, couldn't I? Oh, boy. All right, let's see. Maybe I don't need a round. Maybe I want to use something over here. I could use something like this. Let's see. Let's get a little... I don't want the black. We could use something like that and call it a day. We could use something like that. All right. My book of magic really didn't perform very well for me. And I guess I'll just rip and tear this. Sometimes these collages come together really well and other times not so well. So we can put that there. Oh, and let's see what's going on next week. Um, what's going on next week for me? Not much. It's supposed to be a rainy week. So I'll probably make, I have to go to Cleveland with my husband the following week. Um, so I won't be around to make any videos or anything like that. Um, so I want to kind of get caught up and get some things maybe a little ahead of time. Maybe we can move Lady Justice up a little bit. I don't, I've got a real, having a hard time getting this, not to cover up that water. <laughs> Ask me why, I don't know. This is part of my, my bag. And I'm just going to rip this. All right. Circus, circus, circus. I can put the circus there, I guess. So, I've okay, so I have something from my calendar, which is the Seize the Day, and then the brown paper bag. Okay, so now we just have to make this work. Now we just have to make this work. That could always go up there, right? I could put that up there. I could put her right about there. I'm going to put the seize the day here. And I want to add the circus because... This has just been a circus for this poor guy. I don't know what he did. I don't know what he was accused of. But obviously, obviously he's, he's found not guilty. So he has, he is on his remote little island his getaway he's feeling free as a bird and he is enjoying he is seizing the day and he is loving life right now So it's a very good time for him. So 
we're going to put that because he arrived. He got here at 3.30 Tuesday afternoon. Leo did. That's why um, Lady Justice doesn't have a blindfold on because she made her decision and she didn't have to keep her blindfold on to, to watch this gentleman enjoy his newfound freedom. Because it was real circus for him. And he is just loving life now. All right. So there is this week's there is this week's page. We have something from a calendar, which is seize the day, a border or a frame. Uh handwriting, which is his note up here. The frame is um showcasing that he got there at 3 30 Tuesday afternoon we have our place which is the background um our symbol which is lady justice and then the brown piece of the brown paper bag so that is it for this week's challenge my friends I hope you liked it if you did give me a thumbs up and I will see you down the road all righty bye-bye